ridiculous to say I give somebody a leash. Free speech, brother. People can say whatever they want and they can believe whatever they want. And I think it's unconstitutional, first of all. <laughs> I don't think you can legally do that. Drop he's, he's black. 50 in bombs. In okay, there. he's black. He Dana White's recent fiery exchange with a journalist has reignited debates on free speech in the UFC. The outspoken president of the organization, known for his no-nonsense attitude, was cornered with loaded questions about fighters' controversial comments and their potential implications. But instead of being trapped, White responded with unshakable confidence, emphasizing his unwavering stance on allowing fighters to express themselves freely. When questioned, about whether the UFC gives too much freedom to its athletes, particularly regarding comments deemed homophobic or transphobic, White's retort was firm. I don't give anybody a leash. Free speech, brother. People can say whatever they want and believe whatever they want. His stance, rooted in the principle of free expression, was further solidified when the journalist probed about sanctioning fighters for offensive remarks. White dismissed the idea as insane and unconstitutional pointing out the absurdity of policing words in a sport where athletes physically battle in the octagon. These guys get into a cage and punch each other in the face, but they can't say mean things to each other, he asked incredulously. This isn't the first time Dana White has defended his fighters' right to speak their minds. Fighters like Conor McGregor, Colby Covington, and Sean Strickland have often sparked controversies with their comments, drawing calls for White to impose restrictions. Yet each time, White has stood firm, arguing that trash talk and bold opinions are integral to the fight business. Whether it's McGregor's infamous verbal jabs at opponents or Covington's politically charged statements, White has consistently maintained that the UFC is a platform for unfiltered expression. The fallout from Dana's latest comments was swift and divided. Fans and advocates of free speech rallied behind him, praising his refusal to cave to cancel culture. Social media buzzed with support, highlighting his stance as a refreshing counterpoint to today's politically charged environment. On the other hand, critics accused White of fostering a culture of intolerance by not curbing fighters' controversial remarks. Media coverage mirrored this polarization, with some outlets applauding his boldness while others condemned his approach. White's principles on this issue are deeply tied to his belief in American values, particularly the First Amendment. For him, the UFC is not just about physical combat, but also about giving fighters the freedom to showcase their personalities and beliefs. The UFC isn't about telling people what they can or can't say, he's often stated. This approach, while controversial, has undeniably added to the raw, unfiltered appeal of the UFC, setting it apart from other sports organizations. The journalist's attempt to corner White with questions about comments perceived as racist further highlighted Dana's unwavering philosophy. Instead of backing down, he reiterated that free speech must be upheld, even when it leads to uncomfortable or controversial conversations. For White, drawing a line on what fighters can and cannot say is not just impractical, it's contrary to the very essence of the UFC. As always, Dana White's handling of the situation was direct and unapologetic. Love him or hate him, his commitment to protecting free speech within the UFC remains a defining feature of his leadership. The debate over his stance is far from over. But one thing is certain, Dana White isn't backing down anytime soon. In lesbian yeah. community in this city, I did want to ask you about something you wrote a couple of years ago. You said, if I had a gay son, I would think I'd- Oh, look, another, another, I'm saying to you, the swamp, you guys, the swamp. You become a champion, you become a star, and, and someone says- Let me ask you something, are you- I